Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, this is, uh, we'll be solving previous questions of quantum mechanics. Okay. Uh, this week we have a uh, gate exam. So for that we need to do all kind of previous questions which will give us confidence. Okay. Okay. So quantum mechanics PYQs will be solving this uh, in this video. Quantum mechanics PYQs. Right. So the first question will be question number one a system of spinner particles. Write the questions with me, okay? Don't just do answers. System of spin half particles spin system spin of particles is prepared to is prepared to be in the prepared to be in the eigen state eigen state sigma z Sigma Z with eigenvalue with eigenvalue plus one. Okay, the system is rotated by an angle. The system is rotated by an angle. The system is rotated by an angle of sixty degree above the Z axis. Above the Z axis, okay. Sorry about the x axis. I'm sorry about the x axis. After the rotation, after the rotation, the fraction, after the rotation, the fraction of the particles, after the rotation, the fraction of the particles that will be measured fraction of the particles that will be measured uh, to be in eigenstate of to be in the eigenstate of sigma z okay with eigenvalue plus 1 is with eigenvalue plus 1 is dash the options are the options are 1 by 3 option b 2 by 3 option c 1 by 4 option d 3 by 4 a system of spinner particles is prepared to be in the eigenstate sigma z with eigenvalue plus 1 the system is rotated by an angle of 60 degree about the x axis after the rotation the fraction of the particles that will be measured to be in the eigenstate sigma z with eigenvalue plus 1. It's prepared to be in an eigenstate of sigma z with eigenvalue plus 1. System is rotated by an angle of 60 degree about the x axis. After the rotation, the fraction of particles that will be measured to be in the eigenstate of sigma z with eigenvalue. The fraction of the particles is asked. Okay. So, if we know, do you know about rotation? <coughs> See how to solve this. See rotation matrix. So rotation with angle theta hmm, about x axis is what? About x axis. How can we write it? We can write it u of r theta. Okay. We can write it exponential minus i theta into sigma by 2. Alright. See, I can write exponential e to the power i x is cos x plus i sin x, right? So, this one I can write u of r theta, I can write as, what can I write this one? Cos theta by 2 i minus i sin theta by 2 theta cap dot sigma. This is what the formula is, okay? This is different, okay? This is different one. From the usual one okay suppose in the x-axis rotation is 60 degree along about the x-axis 
so i will take it as x as a rotation along x axis so r x theta is equal to cos theta by 2 i minus i sin theta by 2 okay theta by 2 theta cap dot sigma x theta cap dot sigma x so r x theta we can write what r x theta we can write it as cos theta by 2 cos theta by 2 i sin theta by 2 i sin theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2 and then this is cos theta by 2 i can write like this the rotation matrix okay and what is the um, rotation here about x axis 60 degree rotation okay so what will i do i will put uh, in place of theta 60 degree isn't it because the 60 degree cos 60 degree by 2 sin i sin uh, 60 degree by 2 Minus i sine 60 degree by 2 cos 60 degree by 2. So cos 60 degree by 2 is cos 30. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2. I sine 30 is i by 2 minus i by 2. This is root 3 by 2. This is a rotation matrix, right? This is a rotation matrix. But if you see, what is the question? Question says, uh, what does the question say? After the rotation, the fraction of the particles that will be measured uh, in the eigenstate of sigma z, okay, eigenstate of sigma z with eigenvalue plus one. So what is the sigma z? Sigma z is one zero, right? So what will I do? I will do sig. I will write the wave function for it. For example, I will write it like. Uh, how will I write it? R x theta into sigma z one zero. Yeah. So root three by two, i by two minus i by two, root three by two, and this is your one zero. Okay, so this will give me uh, what? How the multiplication root three by two uh, plus so this is your root three by two, and this is minus i by two zero. This is your sigma. Sorry, sine theta. Yeah. Hmm. So I can write this one as like this. See, root three by two, one zero minus i by two zero one. I can write like this. Wait. Hmm. So see, if sigma z is measured on psi, this psi. So the measurement of like probability of getting plus one is what? This is for plus one value. I can write this is for minus one. Is it? So for probability of getting what? Like the fraction. Fraction means probability. Fraction of particles that will be measured in the eigenstate of sigma z with eigenvalue plus one. So fraction will be what? This is for eigenvalue plus one. So fraction will be the square of the coefficient. Okay. So the fraction, if we can write, if sigma z is measured, if sigma z is measured on sine theta, then uh, the measurement is. The measurement to be plus one has probability what? What is the probability? This is plus one, so it's is equal to root three by two square. That is three by four. Okay, so the measurement to be minus one has probability. What is the probability? The coefficient of minus one that is i by two square. Yeah, means one by two square actually. Only by two. One by four, so the total is one. So the answer will be what? Three by four for plus one. Yeah. So answer will be three by four. So this is how you solve these type of questions. Okay. This is very conceptual. Uh, you cannot just uh, remember it or memorize it. For that, you need to remember this sentence. You want it as this much, then you should be able to write it in the matrix form. Just okay. Forget these three sentences. Just remember the matrix at least. Okay, rotation matrix. Okay, rotation matrix. What 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 I did here? Again, let me explain. Rotation matrix. Just remember. Okay, cos theta by two. Hmm. I sine theta by two. Minus I sine theta by two. And then cos theta by two. This much you remember. Then what is the rotation along x-axis? About x-axis, thirty sixty uh, degree. Yeah. So just you have to put sixty degree here. So whatever you get, that is a rotation matrix. 
yeah that is the rotation matrix but we need what on sigma z it's applied so what will we how will we write the uh, wave function like uh, this rotation matrix into man zero okay we will get something here then we will get something so we can write this thing as what psi is equal to this something into one zero minus something into zero one so this value corresponds to plus one eigen value this value corresponds to minus one eigen value so the one we will get here how to get the probability square of this term uh, how to get the probability of this one square of this term okay that is the process just remember the process don't need to memorize the answer or anything all right yeah this is the problem. this is how you solve this question question number one done move to question number two just a second okay so uh, the next question question number two number two question number two if the position of if the position of the electron in the ground state ground state of a hydrogen atom of a hydrogen atom is measured is measured the probability that the probability that it will be found probability that it will be found at a distance probability that it will be found at a distance r very very much greater than a naught where a naught being the bore radius okay is nearest to is nearest to what position of the electron in the ground state of a hydrogen atom is measured the probability that it will be found at a distance of r very much greater than a naught uh, a naught is bore radius is nearest to okay probability of again read the question option a is 0.91 option b is 0.966 option c 0.32 and option d 0.13 position of the electron in the ground state of a hydrogen atom is measured the probability that it will be found at a distance r very much greater than uh, like uh, greater than equal to a naught is nearest okay see so how to solve it uh, the ground state of a hydrogen atom is measured okay so so probability to get get it uh, like like this right yeah so what should be the probability a naught to infinity hmm. r square ground state so r10 square dm okay r10 is what 2 by a naught to power 3 by 2 hmm. and uh, Into e to power is r by a naught. This is the ground state. So we just put it there. So probability is equal to a naught to infinity r square 4 by a naught q e to the power minus 2 r by a naught dr. Yeah. So 4 by a naught q goes outside a naught to infinity r square e to the minus 2 r by a naught d r ok hmm. so the answer for this integration will be this whole thing you have to remember this 0 0.66 ok there is no other way if you have to try to solve it it will take a long time so better remember this value that is 0 0.66 just remember probability of getting over r where r is greater than or equal to a naught if the ground state is uh, like asked then the answer should be 0 0.66 it's better to remember this because it's very hard to solve this integration now and uh, to put the answer okay better to remember this yeah okay, 
ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ए वन डायमेंशनल ए वन डायमेंशनल सिस्टम इज डिस्क्राइब बाय वन डायमेंशनल सिस्टम इज डिस्क्राइब बाय डिस्क्राइब बाय द हैमिल्टोनियन described by the hamiltonian h is equal to p square by 2m plus lambda x hmm. where lambda greater than 0 the ground state energy the ground state energy varies as a function of varies as a function of lambda as as a lambda to the 5 by 3 b lambda to the 2 by 3 c lambda to the 4 by 3 and d lambda to the 1 by 3 okay try this question very easy question and you play you please first try it Okay, done this question. <clears throat> this is uh, okay. Ground state energy varies as a function of lambda, right? 
so we know what this this question comes under what wkb approximation isn't it Pretty easy so we know en proportional to what n to the power n plus 2 <clears throat> right and here it is lambda right <clears throat> so we can write e is proportional to lambda to the power 2m by m plus 2 hmm? what is your m here m is actually the power of x power of x is 1 so i can put it here as lambda 2 into 1 by 1 plus 2 so lambda to the power 2 by 3 that's the answer it is proportional to lambda to the power 2 by 3 this comes on wkb approximation okay it comes as five marks in net and uh, one mark in gate so uh, easy question so we better uh, solve this type of questions okay <clears throat> See if you can't, or uh, if you don't remember the formula, if you if you want to do it the right way, that can also we can do. How can it do it? Or we can solve it all. We can use using bohr summerfield theory. If you don't want to use a shortcut, PDX. If you remember, is equal to NH is equal to 4 0 to e by lambda e by lambda is what this is your turning point this is called your turning point dx is equal to nh yeah this 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 is the one that is given in the question hmm. p square by 2m plus lambda x so i put lambda x here all right so here here this uh, x naught is the turning point and the turning point is what e by lambda how we just equated e minus lambda x to 0 so the x is equal to e by lambda that is your e x naught yeah so uh, 4 into the, the integration we have to do root over of 2m take out 0 to e by lambda what is there now e minus lambda x root over that means to the power 1 by 2 dx is equal to nh right so uh, root 4 root 2 root 2 m uh, 0 okay we can do this integration in mind lambda x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 and divided by minus lambda the coefficient of x yeah and 0 to <coughs> e by lambda is equal to nh yeah so this is 4 into root over of 2 m uh, if we put the value of e by lambda in place of x e minus lambda into e by lambda by uh, minus 3 by 2 lambda minus 0 if you put now 0 0 3 okay. 3 by 2 will be there 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 minus lambda okay is equal to nh now just uh, simplify it a bit 2m <coughs> lambda lambda gone e minus is 0 so this term becomes 0 this is only left minus minus plus e to the power 3 by 2 uh, by 3 by 2 lambda is equal to nh so if you see so uh, i will take everything to that side so e to the power 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 lambda nh divided by 4 root over of 2m yeah so uh, if you see we need dependence on lambda right so this 3 by 2 okay i can write it as e to the power 3 by 2 is equal to a, a constant into lambda all these things i will take as constant so e is proportional to what if we remove this e by e to the 3 by 2 proportional to lambda so e is proportional to what lambda to the power 2 by 3 okay that's the correct way to solve it also we got the same answer here also through shortcut wkb approximation yeah yeah if you want to do this the right way yes this is the way all right is it clear so the question number three i hope you understood if you didn't understand then please let me know in the comments question number four question number four is uh, consider the consider the operator consider the operator ax is equal to lypz minus lz py okay 
where uh, L and P are like angular momentum and momentum operator you know it. So the commutator, so the commutator A x comma x will be how much? Option A minus A H I H cut J P X plus Y P Y option B minus I H cross J P Z minus Y P Y option C I H cross J P Z plus Y P Y option D I H cross jpz minus minus yp1 these are the options consider the operator ax is equal to ly pz minus lz py the commutator ax x is how much these are the options okay so this is the ax actually we just have to put it here isn't it just try to solve it take your time you can pause the video if you want so ax comma x commutator so ax is how much ax is ly pz minus lz py sorry comma x so we have to take the commutator separately for them isn't it now what is ly and lz we know ly is zpx minus xpz and lz is what? What can I write lz as? Hmm? xpy minus ypx. This, if this y is here, then this will be in order. First term is order, second term is in the opposite of order. So I can put it here directly. So zpx minus xpz into pz minus xpy minus ypx to py yeah. Otherwise, uh, otherwise we will do this first. Let, let, let me write that part. LYPZ minus LZPY comma X. That will give me LYPZ comma X minus uh, LY okay, minus LZPY my x so I can write this as ly x pz goes out plus uh, um, ly goes out pz x yeah minus uh, minus lz x py will go out minus lz will come out pyx see one thing x commute like x px can be written as ih cut but x py will not be they will be commuting so this is zero x like this order should be same if this is x then the momentum will be should be x then only we will get ih cut if this is different we will get zero so these terms you can see this is zero and uh, this is zero. Okay, so what are left? Ly x pz uh, minus lz x py. So these two are left. Yeah. So I can write them. Uh, what can I do here? Ly now. Now I'll put the value of Ly. Ly is what? Ly is z p x 
minus xpz lz is what xpy minus ypx so i'll put it here uh, the, the lyp lyx pz minus lzx py okay so ly zpx minus xpz comma x pz minus lz xpy minus ypx uh, comma x py yeah so um yeah. zpx comma x minus sorry pz mm, xpx z comma x pz this should be become zero this should become zero because this is x x minus uh, x p a y comma x this should be zero again hmm. uh, minus minus plus plus y p x comma x p z p y yeah so there are two terms left again if we if we do it this z x p z plus um, p x sorry 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 p x should go this side uh, z x p x p z plus uh, z p x x p z minus this is plus y p x x p y plus uh, y x p x p y so z x is uh, z x is what again this one is uh, zero right so only these two terms will be left right this is a zero zero hmm. so these two terms will be left uh, so z into minus i h cut because x p x is i h cut so p x x is a minus i h cut z p z plus y minus i h cut p y yeah so the answer will be minus i h cut if i take common z p z plus y p y that will be the answer okay this is the answer got it see it's not hard it's just that it's a bit uh, long and uh, no, it's not even long. If you practice more, you can do it. I just did it step by step for your understanding. Otherwise, if you have practiced that much, you can skip a lot of steps. Yeah, you can skip a lot of steps. I just did it for your understanding. Okay, and it's good also. If you do it slowly also, it's good because it will give you one mark or two marks, whatever mark, but you will get sure of it that I'm getting those marks. Don't make a mistake hastily. You will get a lot of time. Three hours is a lot of time. You just have to do the, the, the ones you are doing. You have to do it correctly. That's it. No need to rush. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this was your question number. This was your question number four. Next is question number five. Question number five. Question number five. Three identical spinner particles. Three identical spin half particles, three identical spin half particles of mass m of mass m are confined are confined are confined to a one dimensional box to a one D box of length L okay but are otherwise free but are otherwise free is that all right yeah. assuming that assuming that they are non interacting assuming that they are non interacting assuming that they are non interacting the energies of the energies of the lowest energies of the lowest two energy eigenstates, 
टू एनर्जी आइगन स्टेट्स इन यूनिट्स ऑफ इन यूनिट्स ऑफ पाए स्क्वायर एच कट स्क्वायर बाय टू एम एल स्क्वायर आर थ्री आइडेंटिकल स्पिन ऑफ आर्टिकल्स ऑफ मास एम आर कन्फाइन टू ए वन डी बॉक्स ऑफ लेंथ एल बट आर अदरवाइज फ्री अज्यूमिंग दैट दे आर नॉन इंटरक्टिंग द एनर्जीज ऑफ द लोएस्ट टू एनर्जी आइगिन स्टेट्स इन यूनिट्स ऑफ पाए स्क्वायर एच कट स्क्वायर टू एनर्स अगेन रीड द क्वेश्चन थ्री आइडेंटिकल स्पिन ऑफ आर्टिकल्स ऑफ मास एम मास एम कन्फाइन टू ए वन डी बॉक्स ऑफ लेंथ एल बट आर अदरवाइज फ्री अज्यूमिंग दैट दे आर नॉन इंटरक्टिंग द एनर्जी ऑफ द लोएस्ट टू एनर्जी आइगिन स्टेट्स lowest to okay so it's just about arrangement yeah how can we arrange this see spin up particles so spin up means in one state how many electrons can so how many particles can be there 2 into half because spin is half so this is a multiplicity like how many can be there degenerates you can say or multiplicity whatever okay like how many in one state so 2 into half that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 so there can be two particles in only one state we can fill two particles in one state suppose it was spin was 3 by 2 suppose so what what would we have done 2s plus 1 is 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 that means 4 so in one state there would be there would have been four particles but here we we can have only two particles so suppose this is a 1d box so how many particles are there total three particles three identical spin particles so we can arrange them as like this one here two here and one here only right so this is two here and one here so this is we are asked what energy of the lowest two energy these are the lowest two energy eigen states okay so this is e1 ground state this is e2 right so for e1 two particles are there we know for 1d box this is a 1d box 1d box energy is what energy from 1d box is en is equal to n square pi square h cut square by 2m square 2m square a, a is your what a is l ml square whatever so um for first one is uh, one square that is pi square h cut square by 2 ml square for second state it is what 4 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square so here see two two particles are there in the first state so 2 into e1 isn't it and this is only one so 1 into e2 so that is the total energy so total energy is equal to 2 e1 plus e2 so 2 into e1 e1 is how much pi square h cut square by 2 ml square and e2 is how much e2 e2 is e2 is um 4 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square so if we add both of them we will get 2 pi square sorry uh, pi square h cut square by 2 ml square i will take common that will be 2 plus 4 isn't it so that answer is 6 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square this is uh, what we are asked right okay low okay and the question is okay this is the ground state this is only the ground state the question is what two lowest lowest two energy eigen states that means for ground state also for first excited state also okay that mean the whole configuration of the whole configuration not just the like states okay so if we see this is only ground state what is the excited state of this if i take one particle to the e2 level that will be the first excited state okay it will be like this now there are two particles in the second level e2 this is e1 this is your first excited state okay so first excited state will be c only one particle here. so 1 into e1 plus two particles so 2 into e2 that is 1 into pi square h cut square by 2 ml square plus 2 into 4 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square. So the answer gives me 
1 plus uh, 8 that is what 9 so 9 pi square h square square by 2 ml square which is 9 e naught or 9 e 1 okay so the answer is what this is your 6 e 1 and 9 e 1 these are the two answers okay I didn't write the options but these are the two answers 6 e 1 and 9 e 1 I hope understood the question or 6 or 9 because we are asked in terms of pi square h square square by 2 ml square so the answer should be 6 and 9 all right I hope you understood this okay next question that will be that was your question number what was this question number? question number 5 so the next one is question number 6 number six question number six let's do question number six Let the wave function of electron, let the wave function of electron, wave function of electron in a hydrogen atom, in a hydrogen atom be psi r is equal to 1 by root 6 phi 2 0 0 r vector plus root over of 2 by 3 phi 2 1 minus 1 r vector plus okay, minus 1 by root 6 phi 1 0 0 r vector okay so the question is where phi n l m are, are the eigenvalues are the eigenvalues sorry eigenstates eigenstates of the Hamiltonian of the Hamiltonian in the standard notation the Hamiltonian in the standard notation yeah standard notation the expectation value of the expectation value the expectation value of uh, the energy so the value of the energy in the state in the state is expectation value of the energy in the state is the wave function of the electron in a hydrogen atom b psi r is equal to 1 by root 6 okay phi 2 0 0 r plus 2 by root over 2 by 3 phi 2 1 minus r minus 1 r like this okay so the expectation value of energy in the state how to calculate it see phi n l m on which uh, quantum number energy depend on n okay lm it doesn't depend on lm so it depends on what depends on n right it depends on n so so what is the n value here 2 this is 2 this is 1 so if i calculate the, at least the energy values huh, so e1 or e or whatever you can say e2 here is minus 13.4 by n square that is minus 13.4 by uh, what 4 that is how much minus 3.4 okay and what is the uh, probability here probability of e2 that is uh, coefficient square isn't it so coefficient will be what 1 by root 6 whole square that is 1 by 6 okay now again the second term such so second okay let's let's uh, take it as e1 p1 
second term is e2 e2 again the energy is what n is 2 so i can write the energy as minus 13.6 by n square that is minus 13.6 by 4 that is minus 3.4 electron volt and probability will be what probability will be again this is c2 square this uh, coefficient square let's write this as c1 this is c2 square what is c2 c2 here is a uh, root over of 2 by 3 so root over of 2 by 3 whole square that would be 2 by 3 now last term is e3 energy third uh, term third term here energy here n is 1 so what will be the energy eigen value minus 13.6 divided by n square that is n is 1 minus 13.6 by 1 that is minus 13.6 electron volt what is the what is the uh, probability here probability here is uh, c3 square that is minus 1 by root 6 whole square 1 by 6 okay so what is the expectation value of energy expectation value of energy we know is summation pi e i yeah so p1 e1 plus p2 e2 plus p3 e3 p1 is uh, 1 by 6 into minus 3.4 3.4 plus 2 by 3 into minus 3.4 plus 1 by 6 into minus 13.4 13.6 okay so this is the one if you calculate it you will get it as minus 30.6 divided by 6 that will minus 5.1 that will be the answer Minus third minus five point one AV will be the answer. All right. I hope you understood this question. Next will be question number seven. Question number seven. The ground state energy. The ground state energy of an an isotropic. An isotropic harmonic oscillator, harmonic oscillator, okay, described by the potential, described by the potential, described by the potential VXYZ. Vxyz is equal to half a omega square x square plus 2 a omega square x square plus 8 a omega square z square in units of in units of h of h square omega is is Okay, option A 5 by 2, option B 7 by 2, option C 3 by 2, option D 1 by 2. Okay, the ground state energy of an anisotropic harmonic oscillator described by the potential V xyz is equal to half m omega square x square, uh, 2 m omega square y square plus 8 m omega square z square in units of h squared omega is all right
Yeah. Okay. Let's try this question. It was very easy question. Nothing much in this question. Let's first try. Okay, how to solve it? Let's write the potential v x y z half m omega square x square plus two m omega square y square plus eight m omega square z square. I will write it everything in the same form. Plus half into four m omega square y square plus half into sixteen m omega square z square. So I just have to write it half m omega square x square. An isotropic, an isotropic means omega x, omega y, omega z have all different values. Isotropic means they are. This is an isotropic. Isotropic means they are all same. Omega x is equal to omega y is equal to omega z. You can clearly see omega values are different. So half. I'm sorry for this. There is some problem with the pen. Half m omega square x square. Here omega is omega. Here half m. If I can write two m omega whole square y square because two m omega square will automatically give me four omega square. Thus half m. I can write here as four omega square z square, isn't it? So we can write from here omega x is omega, omega y is two omega, omega z is four omega. Yeah. So the ground state energy, we know the ground state energy harmonic oscillator is what? E n x n y n z is equal to uh, n x plus half h cut omega plus h cut omega x plus n y plus half h cut omega. Y plus n z plus half h cut omega z, yeah. So uh, ground state energy is asked. Ground state energy means n x is is n y is is equal to n z is equal to zero. So we'll just put all the values zero, okay. So half h cut omega plus uh, half h cut two omega because here two omega plus half h cut. This is your four omega. Into four omega. So this would be half h cut omega if I take common one plus two plus four. That is uh, seven. So seven by two h cut omega. Okay, that will be the answer in terms of h cut omega. So I will write seven by two as the answer. Got it? Okay, so this was a question number seven. Question number eight. Right. 
right now at t is equal to 0 the wave function of an otherwise free particle otherwise free particle confined confined between confined between two two infinite confined between two infinite walls confined between two infinite walls at x is equal to zero and x is equal to zero and x is equal to l is is psi x t is equal to zero okay root over of two by l sine pi x by l minus sine 3 pi x by l okay its wave function at a its wave function its wave function at a at a later time its wave function at a later time t is equal to ml square by 4 pi h cut is okay this is the question at t is equal to 0 okay the options are okay no uh, let me not give the options very you because the options are very big so it's better to solve it okay without seeing the options at t is equal to 0 the wave function of an otherwise free particle confined between two infinite walls two infinite walls hmm. At x is equal to 0, this is x is equal to 0, x is equal to L is psi x t is equal to, this is the wave function, root over 2 by L sin pi x by L sin 3 pi x by L. It's wave function at a later time t. Okay, whenever the, this type of question is given, just write first of all, see psi x t is, x is there, t is 0. So what is the given function here? Root over 2 by L sin pi x by L minus sin pi x by l all right so i can write this as i can write it as root over of 2 by l uh, sine pi x by l minus root over of 2 by l sine 3 pi x by l yeah so root over of 2 by l sine pi x by l i can write it as uh, phi 1 minus this is your phi 3 isn't it wave functions phi 1 phi 3 so this is at t is equal to 0 so I can write this as psi x t is equal to 0 is phi 1 minus phi 3. Yeah. Otherwise I can write like this also, no problem. Okay. Okay. Now if I introduce a time uh, coordinate, so what it will be? Phi 1 e to the power minus e1 t by h cut plus phi 3 e to the power minus e3 t by h cut. Isn't it? you have studied it hmm. so now see e1 is what this is an infinite like uh, this is a uh, 1d box uh, like infinite potential uh, length l okay so length is l here so e1 is your pi square h cut square by 2 ml square and e3 is your what pi 9 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square i will just put the values of this and your t your t is what given uh, ml square by 4 pi h cut 4 pi h cut okay so what i have to do here e1 i will put here and t e3 and t but see it will be quite complicated on the above part so what will i do i will just multiply e1 and t separately and put it there you get it because everything will be so messed up around here so e1 t is what pi square h cut square by 2 ml square into ml square by 4 pi h cut yeah so see uh, m m cancelled l square l square cancelled pi pi 1 pi h cut h cut 1 h cut and uh, 4 so this is pi h cut by 4 sorry 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 pi h cut by 4 this is e1 t so in place of e1 t i can direct put pi h cut by 4 now e3 into t this part okay e3 into t will be uh, 9 pi square h cut square by 2 ml square into t. t is or what? ml square by 4 pi h cut 
yeah so if you see um uh, again m m got cancelled l square l square got cancelled pi pi if i cancel there will be pi h cut h cut will be h cut so the thing will be 9 pi h cut by 2 into 4 that is 8 okay see here 2 into 4 that was 8 okay my bad i missed the 2 don't miss the 2 it's kind of hidden here okay so let's put these values uh, over like that so psi xt is phi 1 e to the power minus e1 t by h cut let me write it again phi 3 e to the power minus e3 t by h cut so i will just put it now phi 1 phi 1 e to the power minus i pi h cut by 8 h cut i just put this value here okay plus phi 3 e to the power minus i 9 pi h cut by 8 h cut so h cut h cut got cancelled h cut h cut got cancelled so what is left phi 1 e to the power minus i pi by 8 plus phi 3 e to the power minus 9 i pi by 8 yeah got it if i take e to the power minus i pi by 8 as common this will be phi 1 plus phi 3 e to the power phi 3 e to the power minus i pi by 8 sorry minus i pi only it's very yeah okay. now now what now I can write this as the power okay e to the power minus i pi is how much cos pi okay cos minus pi plus yeah cos minus pi plus i sin minus pi cos minus pi is cos minus pi is minus 1 that means cos pi is minus 1, sin pi is 0, so minus 1. So I can just put it here minus 1. Okay, okay, just give me a minute. Okay, there is a minus here, na? this is minus, minus, my God. minus, everything will be minus. I'm sorry, minus, 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 yeah. This one will be minus also. So e to the power minus i pi by 8. Phi 1 minus this becomes minus 1. So phi 3 minus 1. So e to the power minus i pi by 8. Phi 1 plus phi 3. Yeah. Yeah. So if I write it again, it is minus i pi by 8. Phi 1 was your what? Root over of 2 by L sin pi x by L plus root over of 2 by L sin 3 pi x. That will be the answer. So this was the answer. So again, a very uh, derivation type question, but again, it's not hard. It's just conceptual. Just have to do these questions. Uh, more you practice, more you will be acquainted with this type of questions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this much for this class, we solve our 8 questions. Okay. We'll be solving all the PYQs for your gate exam. So don't worry, just stay tuned and keep solving questions. Okay, keep solving yourself and that will really help. Okay, thank you very much for watching.